faith seeking understanding for the, today's discussion we have question number 11 why do we hand on the faith we hand on the faith because jesus commands us go therefore and make disciples of all nations matthew 28 19. no genuine christians leaves the transmission of faith exclusively to specialists we are christ for others this means that every genuine christian would like God to come to other people too. He says to himself, The Lord needs me. I have been baptized and confirmed and I am responsible for helping the people around me to learn about God and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Mother Teresa used a comparison. Often you can see power lines running aside the street. Unless current is flowing through them, there is no light. The power line is you and I. The current is God. We have the power to allow the current to flow through us and thus generate light of world. Jesus ought to refuse to use and thus allow the darkness to spread. Twelfth question. How can we tell what belongs to the true faith? We find the true faith in sacred scripture and in the living tradition of church. The New Testament developed out the faith of church. Scripture and tradition belong together. Handing on the faith does not occur primarily through documents. In early church, it was said that sacred scripture was written on the heart of church and rather on parchment. The disciples and the apostles experienced their new life above all though the living fellowship with Jesus. The early church invited people into this fellowship, which continued in a different way about the resurrection. The first Christians held fast to the apostles, teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. They were united with one another and yet had rooms for others. This is a part of our faith to this day. Christians invite others individuals to come to their fellowship with God that has been preserved unaltered since the time of the apostles in Catholic Church. Question number 13. Can the church err in questions of faith? The faith as a whole cannot err in the faith because Jesus promised his disciples that he would send them spirit of truth and keep them in the truth. John 14, 17. Just as the disciples believed Jesus with the whole heart, a Christian can rely completely on the church when he asks about the way to life. Since Jesus himself gave his apostles the commission to teach, the church has teaching authority and must not remain silent. Although individual member of the church can error and even though make mistakes, the church are, as a whole cannot fall away from the God's truth. The church carries through the ages a living truth that is greater than herself. We speak about a dispositum pidig, a deposit of faith that is to be preserved. If such a truth is publicly disputed or destroyed, the church is called upon to the clarity again. What has always and everywhere been believed by all?